Hey guys, welcome to Olive's Branch. If you don't already know who I am, my name is Olivera and welcome to my channel. So I'm pretty sure we're all aware that the text lyric prank thing is kind of going around YouTube and it's a trend. So I thought, I don't want to miss on the fun, I'm gonna join in. So we're gonna do one right here on my channel. So stay tuned. So I've already pre like texted and everything because let's be honest, no one's gonna reply to me straight away. So I'm just gonna read you guys what happened and the song I used was I just had sex and it felt so good by I don't even know who it's by. Who? Lonely Island. Lonely Island. Yeah, you're right. I thought it was like Akon. It is feet Akon. This prank was done to my ex-boyfriend, uh, who, by the way, we're still really good friends and everything, but like we're not together anymore. Like that together, like like that together. You get me. It was very stressful, let me tell you. I do not like pranking people. I feel really, really bad when I do it. And he didn't take it so well. It kind of went wrong. You'll see what happened. So it started off pretty casual, if you can call that casual, me just saying I just had sex. So I did it on Facebook Messenger because he lives in the UK and I live in Singapore currently. So you know, ain't nobody got time to spend and waste money on text messages. No, I did it on WhatsApp. That's a lie, I did it on WhatsApp. And then I switched to Facebook Messenger because he started messaging me on Facebook Messenger and you will see why. Okay, so I started off by saying, I just had sex. And he said, um, what? <laughs> yep, that's what I just said. And it felt so good. And he put a question mark. He's not very interesting when he like texts. That's so mean. Okay, no, he is, but I mean like he's very, he can be very blunt. And then I kind of changed the lyrics here so they could fit my situation because I don't have a penis and I hope I'll never have one, but I have a vagina, so. I put, I let a man put his, I don't know how the tune is, but I let a man put his penis inside of me. And he wrote, who is this? Typical, he thinks someone stole my phone and is, no, not typical. Oh wait, I don't let people steal my phone. Hang on, what? And then I wrote again, I just had sex. And he's like, cool. AKA, ya yeah, bitch. And then I got carried away and I was like, and I'll never go back to the, I don't know the tune. Come on, come here, sing it for us. And I'll never go back to the not having sex ways of the past. Hello, you need a vagina. I call my cat a vagina, I don't know why, that's weird. Oh my God, I need help. Have you ever had sex? <laughs> I felt like such an idiot, like why would you ask that? This is why he didn't think it was me, by the way, because obviously I know that he has had sex, so it's like, why would you ask that? And I don't know what he thought. And then he didn't reply, like he stopped replying. And then he actually sent me a message on Facebook Messenger. So we're going, we're going to switch apps here. He's one of those people that will just not reply when he feels uncomfortable. And it's like, just reply and make it funny. <laughs> But he didn't. And then he wrote, Bob, what the fuck? He calls me Bob, by the way. And I was like, okay, he really thinks someone stole my phone. And I wrote, have you ever had sex? Again, I don't know that's a tune, but. And he's like, what the fuck, Bob? He's just like not having it. So then I'm like, I have. It felt so good when I did it with my vagina. Again, I had to change the lyrics because I don't have a penis. Still, still, still don't have one. A guy let me do it. I don't know what this voice is. A guy let me do it. It literally just happened. And he stopped replying because he thought I was a maniac. So then I switched back to WhatsApp and I was like, party pooper, I was pranking you, haha, ha, it's a song, it's a trend on YouTube, sorry. Cause I was like, okay, this guy's clearly just not taking the joke and he's not gonna collaborate and cooperate and he's not gonna make this a funny video. I was like, whatever. And then I sent him even the lyrics of the song cause I was like, okay, he might not believe me. Like the, the, the lyrics, like, yeah, I sent them. And still nothing. I called him like five times because I was starting to get worried and I was like, okay, he's really pissed off. He probably just thinks I'm some kind of psycho bitch that gave my phone away to some random guy that I just had sex with and I'm trying to make him feel bad. I don't do that. I wouldn't do that, but yet I still did. Anyway, then I kept calling him, kept calling him and he just didn't pick up. So I kind of gave up and I was like, okay, whatever. Like I'll just let him like cool off and then hopefully he'll message me later and we'll see what's going on. Four hours later, he messages me and he says, not funny, dot, dot. I crashed the van trying to text you, dot, dot. Luckily the cab driver was okay, dot, dot. But seriously, not funny. Honestly, that's fucked up. I, no, I was like, 
what you crashed the van like you first of all and this was actually my reply straight afterwards i was like oh my god why are you even texting and driving you're insane i was mad af because i was like dude you should not be driving and texting that is my number one rule in life even though i don't even drive even though i don't even have a driver's license but you shouldn't and even if i had one i would never drive i mean what i mean I, hopefully i would drive i would never text and drive I was more pissed off at him than he was at me, so this prank kind of reversed itself. But yeah, apparently he got into a little bit of a car crash. Nothing serious, you know, it was just a minor thing. But he hit some cab driver because he was so shocked at what I was saying. And I, yes, I do feel really bad about it. I, I do. But it's his fault for texting while driving. You should never, ever, ever, and this is for real serious, you should never do that. That is not worth it. It's stupid and it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Anyway, that's that. I'm sorry it was kind of bad and shit because nothing really happened, but that's what happened. After that, he said I was a retard and that I smell and um, yeah. At least he fell for it. I think this challenge, prank, whatever you want to call it, I nailed it because he fell for it and he crashed into a cab like a wing winning, even though that's pretty bad and please don't text and drive like for real. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's about it. And obviously subscribe to my channel down below. If you did enjoy this video, stay tuned for more videos. Join the family. I am really feeling hyper today. I don't even know why. I haven't had anything that could potentially make me hyper. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I hate you! Are you okay? Huh? Oh no, I'm just, I'm just running through my monologue.